on foreign policy, the Ukraine. Uh, comments from either both of you on the President's remarks yesterday uh, at West Point, the future of how he sees spending on defense, some of the shifts. Uh, I mean, start maybe you with you, Senator Blumenthal, your thoughts on that, and then kick it over to Senator Murphy. I think we need to be realistic about our role in the world. The American people are not going to tolerate another massive land engagement. We're done, at least for the foreseeable future, I hope we are, with the use of a major invasion by troops on the ground. That the idea that we, we have to avoid isolationism, we have to avoid complete disengagement, but very loath and resistant to any involvement of American troops on the ground anywhere. You know, let, let me answer the question through the prism of Ukraine. There's a, a lot of uh, pundits on foreign policy who have tried to categorize this episode as an example of Russian strength and American weakness. I, I argue that it's exactly the opposite. And to the extent that the trend line is now playing out in a direction that suggests Russia is pulling back and the Ukrainians are uh, starting to feel their way towards uh, independence, notwithstanding some still major military hiccups along the border, um, I think what you're seeing is a new way for America to position itself vis-a-vis -vis the world. Um, I think we figured out in Iraq and Afghanistan that the blunt force of military power isn't really good at changing the political dynamics in places that we fundamentally don't understand. But what we have done in Ukraine is lend both moral authority uh, to the group that wanted to cast off uh, this um, uh, corrupt government uh, and economic power to the new government to stabilize it along with democratic supports to give them the ability to pull off an election last week and that frankly not a lot of folks thought they could do. And they've